All right, let's get this graphic going. Here we go, import Photoshop file. Man, we worked on this for quite some time. I hope this ends up being good and... Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are looking at all the possible reasons why your Photoshop file might not be importing into GT Title Designer. Getting right into it, the first reason might be wrong color mode. GT Title Designer only supports RGB color and 8 bits per channel. To set that in Photoshop, just go to Image, Mode, and set the values there. The next reason the import might be failing is your canvas size. Your canvas size will need to be exactly the same as your GT preset size in order to import correctly. Simply go to Image, Canvas Size, and adjust the resolution to match your GT Title project's resolution. For me, this is 1920 by 1080 but GT Title does support 720p or 4K. If adjusting the canvas size completely breaks the positioning of everything in your Photoshop file, something I've done to fix that is to just individually export layers of that Photoshop file, and then put them back together in GT Title Designer. You have to add text manually, but it does work. The next reason your Photoshop file might not be importing is because you have an unsupported source type in your layers. The only kind of data that's supported in Photoshop file importing is raster data, think brushes, fills, images, etc., and text. No layer style data will be preserved at all. So if you have any fancy text outlines, gradients, or shadows, you will need to recreate those as best you can in GT Title Designer itself. Or if it's static text that never needs to change, you could just rasterize it anyway. To rasterize a layer, simply right-click on it and click Rasterize Layer. You can also preserve the layer style by right-clicking a layer and clicking Rasterize Layer Style. But remember, once an element has been rasterized, it cannot be edited unless you start the process over again. It's essentially just converting it into an image. Sometimes when you rasterize layers, it doesn't quite look right. A tip to fix that is to put everything you want to rasterize in the correct order inside of a folder, and then you can convert that folder into a smart object and then rasterize the smart object layer. The final thing that might be preventing you from importing your Photoshop file is having folders inside of folders. This will cause the entire Photoshop file import to fail. You can have top level sources and you can have folders, but you cannot have folders inside of folders. Another tip here that might make your life easier is I would recommend organizing your layers in a way where animating the groups will be much easier. For example, if you want all of your text sources to fade in at the same time, make sure to group all of your text sources into a single top level folder. That top level folder will be converted into a group in GT Title Designer and you can animate that group to do whatever you want. Now before you save your file, I would highly recommend saving a copy with these changes rather than overwriting the original file. It's pretty standard practice to keep an unmodified Photoshop file in case you need to go back and edit something later. Generally, people add converted or GT ready to the end of the file name to distinguish the difference between the original and the modified Photoshop file. Thank you all so much for watching this tutorial. If you want to learn more about VMix GT Title Designer, get subscribed because there are more VMix GT Title Designer videos to come. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to join our Discord and I will personally try to give you an answer. See you in the next one!